Here's how I looked before I got sick in South Africa. And then here is when I'm in bed, feeling awful, coughing, <coughs> having aches, <coughs> body aches, not <coughs> wanting to get out of bed, <coughs> and just dealing with it best I can. Decided to do my naturopathic treatments of ginger, tea, cut up the ginger, and with some boiling water. It is effective sometimes, but uh, didn't really uh, get me out of my sickness. Uh, and I'll talk about that a little bit more later. Um, but I really did try um, my best to treat this thing uh, naturally in my Airbnb room. Uh, I used honey, which is known for being good for soothing the throat and has antibacterial and antifungal properties. Um, ginger also has some antibacterial properties and also helps the stomach feel better when you're nauseous. So <coughs> I'm trying, but I'm still coughing, still feeling bad, still feeling sick. My cousin suggested I gargle with some warm salt water, which I remember after she told me, yes, that does help with the sore throat <clears throat> and also helps fight bacteria in, your, in your, um, your mouth and throat. So I do my best with that. Um, here I am putting the warm water in. It was really hot water, um, but I let it cool down some before I, uh, of course, gargled with it. But. So I go in the bathroom and I'm gargling best I can with this warm salt water. See, I got a sweatshirt on because I'm feeling ill and I'm trying to stay warm. And I'm gargling and I'm gargling. I'm trying to treat myself. Um, I am a doctor and if I was in the States, I would have um, started taking some antibiotics at this time because I hate to be sick. But I'm out of the country, so I can't prescribe for myself. So I'm trying again. Here I am, back in bed, back to drinking my ginger tea with honey. Then I tried it some soup, okay? I'm in um, not my, my own country where I can um, maybe get some help and also, you know, have some things in the fridge to make natural soup. But I'm drinking my water and I'm trying to get... Some type of soup, <coughs> some liquids in me, but I'm still coughing, coughing more, feeling worse, feeling more sick, feeling achy, just moving my hands um, was sore and painful, feeling aches and pains all over, feeling hot, kind of temp, um, like I had a little fever, still drinking my tea. And I'm um, trying to get my rest, really not wanting to do anything except stay in bed. Um, so, but I, wanted, I know fluids is really important. Uh, a few days before all of this, I had a GI distress too, where I was vomiting like for 15 hours in a 24 hour, uh, 15 times within a 24 hour <coughs> period. I don't know if these were, I thought that was food poisoning. Uh, I didn't think it was related to this, but um, anyway, here I am still in bed and not wanting to get out of bed. Um, you see the bed is disheveled. I'm in, uh, so I decided, okay, this ginger is not working. I gotta do something else. So I got an on-call doctor that came to visit me in my Airbnb room. And he treated me, listened to my lungs, wrote a prescription, had his toolbox with antibiotics in it. We discussed various antibiotics. He gave me um, Zithromax. Um, and um, I continued to drink my fluids. Here's a Zithromax that I got, uh, which is an antibiotic and a decongestant here. Um, and I always carry NyQuil with me because it's a great um, medication over the counter for cough, 
fever, pain, and all that. You can see my room is looking better because I'm feeling better. And here I am back to my normal self again, back to going to the gym. Yay! And this cost me about 264 United States dollars. And on call, doctors on call has great rates.